Yeah, back in spring, uh, I did part one and part two to this project. Uh, it's the start of my, my first steam locomotive which I'm making. And uh, I've already done parts one and two, and I explained a little bit in them parts about the frame material. But what I'm doing in this video, I'm, I've now, now I'm in the summer months, I've been gathering all my materials together, uh, which I need to complete the project, which now you can see in front on you, I think I've just about got everything I need. Uh, so I'm going to just explain everything uh, material-wise for the project. Right, so this little section here of materials, I think I've already explained this in my last video. I got these um, um, plates for me, my chassis and my frame and my buffer beams and my uh, stretcher plates. I got it all for £30 that and all I've had to do is cut it to size and square everything up because it was just uh, black rolled steel. So that's all my materials there for me. Um, my frame and then moving along to my, my copper which I've now got for my boiler um, I've managed to get all my copper f for, th for everything I need on my boiler from a, a chap that uh, he comes to our open days and, and he has a stall there so I've managed to get all my copper which I need for the boiler off for him. Um, and as you can see I've got all my, my, tubes, my tubes, my copper tubes for my boiler, my superheater tubes and my steam tube. I've got my 5 inch diameter uh, copper tube for main part of the boiler for the barrel. And then this piece down here which is just out of shot that's 5 inch that's 5 inch diameter for in a firebox and then this piece you can see here that came as a flat sheet for the outer firebox I've now rolled that roughly rolled it it's not quite finished to an 8 inch diameter for the outer firebox ready to be joined there and then for the flange plates I've had um, three mil or eighth plate cut and I've got four plates there to make the flange plates. I've also got me my phosphor bronze for me and my gum metal for my fittings. That's included. Uh, and and also well I'll just go through prices now of that. So my frame, going back to my frame material, that cost me £30. All this boiler material has cost me um, just over £300. I've, I've just had to buy a few extra items like silver solder and things like that, which has cost me a little bit more. But also in my in my in my three hundred pound, I got me my bronze for my stays, two lengths of that, my stainless steel tubing for my superheaters, and a piece of hexagonal bar for the screws that I'll need, and me copper rivets to hold everything together. Now that all come in that price. To buy all that as a flange kit was going to be 850 and that didn't include all the bronze and everything for my fittings um, so you can see savings I've made there and moving on to rest at, rest at materials right so I said in my last video whatever I could I wasn't buying any castings uh, and I was just going to make everything from solid which I am doing, and at back here I've got all my, I've got my cast iron for my cylinders, my cylinders, my axle boxes, my cylinder covers, my cylinder covers, my steam chest, and my steam chest covers. Uh, I got all that cast iron from a local foundry near, near to me, um, and I got all that cast iron for that. 
for thirty pound. I've just had to saw it up into individual components because it just comes as a one long piece of cast iron. So that's all my material for me cylinders etc etc. And then I was going to buy a bit more cast iron for me own guides. Well, not just cast iron, some bronze as well for my own guides and all my other castings. But as look at it, a friend of a friend was selling uh, selling a few bits for this particular engine off. So I managed to get all these little castings here. Well, not all castings, but quite a lot on them and brake shoes. Um, chimney box door, firebox door, etc. Reversing stand. So I managed to get all them for at a reasonable price, less than it would have cost me to just buy materials for them. And then I've got all my screws here, and I'm going the metric route. I'm not buying BA screws because BA screws cost between five and ten times as much as uh, metric screws. So I'm going metric route. And these are my formers to do my uh, boiler flanges. I'm just getting them ready now to, to do flanges. Yeah, so basically I've got 95% of everything I need. And that's all you can see in front on you now. My frames, my boiler and everything else. Uh, so I've probably got all my materials now for just above 10% at price it would have cost me if I'd have gone other route. Anyway, probably split this into two little two projects, not just one. I might do one project as boiler and another project as, as rest at loco so I so I've not got too many parts going on one thing if you get what I mean. I'll continue in autumn then and uh, if you haven't watched part one and two have a look at them and if, if you've not seen my other videos and you're interested have a look at them. So uh, I'll sign off for now then and uh, I'll catch you on my next part then. Thanks for watching. Bye.